Hey everyone, making this video. Uh, hopefully, I can save some of y'all some trouble from the get go instead of going through what I had to do. So, this is my uh, Wi Fi extender here. It's Netgear. I'm gonna show you the box real quick. It's uh, AC750 is the model. Um, you'll find these on Amazon. They're pretty cheap, like 20 bucks a cent, 20, 25 dollars. Um, I had I had this uh, Wi Fi extender and I was using it with uh, Spectrum. So Spectrum, um, I have their uh, internet, their TV, and their phone. And um, before that, I had uh, Verizon Fios. And Verizon Fios, I was using the same Wi-Fi extender, and it was working perfectly fine. Um, got Spectrum, uh, ending of uh, last summer, uh, August, and um, I was using the same uh, Wi-Fi extender, and um, it was working pretty fine with the uh, router. Um, let me post it up be right here and uh, the Wi-Fi extender was working for like the first three four months I would say up to about November from August to November and then um, one night um, the router had a red light on it you know I wasn't getting no internet service and um, I went on Spectrum's uh, app that they have and you could check your uh, connection issues and stuff through the app. And then um, they didn't say, they. they uh, and it was funny thing was that the app actually said that there was nothing wrong with my connection, even though the thing, uh, the router had a red light on it. So I actually end up uh, calling Spectrum and you go through the automated uh, voice uh, stuff that they got, the automated uh, system and it checks your connection issue and they said uh, there was somewhere that was down in my area. So I um, ended up leaving it. Uh, next day, the router was back up, everything was working, uh, except for my Wi-Fi extender. This wasn't working and I could never get it to work back. So um, the steps I went through now um, to try to get this work is that, you know, uh, this, this is easy to connect, first of all. Um, you can either do it through the WPS button right here. You know, you hit this, you hit the one on your router, and uh, some of the routers don't have a WPS button. You gotta go through the settings in the router itself. You know, you log in through uh, your IP address. Um, probably, uh, most of them is admin, and admin for password, or uh, it's something simple. It's usually there on the back of the router too. But um, you log in and uh, you go and you turn uh, WPS on. And then that makes it uh, discoverable and you hit this button and this should uh, connect uh, perfectly fine usually. Um, what you're gonna see is gonna say Netgear underscore EXT and that's gonna be your Wi-Fi extender. And then you can rename it, you know, put passwords, whatever it is that you wanna do. So uh, you can either do it that way or you could just uh, do it through your phone. So I spent two weeks trying to figure this out and um, apparently, uh, did everything online with the router. I uh, set this up a couple times, went on um, Amazon, I bought the next one. Um, I thought that this would be the problem that probably like dead or dying or something. So I bought the uh, next one on Amazon, tried that one, tried everything with the new one. It didn't work. Same model, same everything, still didn't work. So um, I was Google searching online how to fix, uh, see if anybody else had the issue. I went on YouTube, couldn't find nothing on YouTube about it. Um, end up going on, I uh, called Spectrum, actually. Spectrum told me that how it was my Wi-Fi extender, and they told me that I should buy their Wi-Fi extender because it works with their with their equipment. Um, I was like, you know, complete bullshit. I'm not doing that. Um, I went on um, Netgear's uh, forum, actually, and um, I found some stuff about uh, why Netgear Wi-Fi extenders don't work with Spectrum routers. So uh, um, it depends on the router you have because of the firmware. So I guess that day when the network uh, went down they did a firmware update on it and mine stopped working so I had called back spectrum and I told spectrum that you know uh, what happened 
with the issue with the router. So they told me to bring it back in and they gave me a next refurbished unit. Got the refurbished unit, connected everything back. Um, still nothing. So um, ended up calling Netgear now. And Netgear, uh, the person who I spoke to actually told me that, you know, their products, their Wi-Fi extenders, um, not, uh, not to the same model here, but uh, this model and a bunch of others, plus there's a couple other brands out there that Spectrum does not work with. So um, I don't know if they corrected the issue with their firmware or whatever it is that's going on between these Wi-Fi extenders and Spectrum, but that kind of sucks. So what I ended up doing was that I ended up just giving up on this. I mean, two weeks was enough for me trying to get this stuff to work. Um, I ended up going with a mesh Wi-Fi system and um, the mesh Wi-Fi system works perfectly fine with Spectrum right now. I hope they don't do no other updates because then I don't want to get myself screwed out of uh, the mesh Wi-Fi system either. So I ended up uh, buying the Tendenova uh, mesh Wi-Fi system and that's been working great with uh, Spectrum uh, router. So um, I hope that uh, helped anybody out out there who's having problems and issues with um, their Wi-Fi extenders and um, Spectrum's routers. Um, I don't know if they fixed the issue yet, but um, instead of uh, wasting your time looking around and calling everybody, um, just just buy something else because I, I don't think you're, you're gonna be able to get it to work. All right, thanks for watching, latest.